Now we create the first workflow. First ensure the JBPM library is well configured. Then we create a JBPM project in which we can define several workflows. These will automatically generate a simple workflow. We have a file called simple.jpdl and we double click on it. We see the workflow definition diagram. we can see several linked boxes. We have several boxes offering different features that can be added. We replace the central box that needs an external event for a node box and we see in the right panel several graphic objects. We have task, nodes and transactions among others. Now we delete an action that by default is defined in this workflow. This workflow will be simple and will execute from start node to end node directly without stopping in any node. Any workflow should have only one start node but can have several end nodes. Now we configure graphic information and image file. Each time changes are made to the workflow the image is rebuilt. Change the workflow de deployment URL. And the username for doing it. Starting open KM. We now go to Administration Workflow Panel and there are no workflow flows deployed. Return to JBoss Developer Studio and deploy the workflow. Now we can see the workflow deployed in OpenKM. We start a workflow. And we see that the workflow has finished.
Now we will add a box that needs an external event to continue with the workflow execution. The idea is that the workflow will start and then will be stopped in the state box waiting for an external signal. After receiving the external signal, the workflow will continue. We deploy the workflow and we see a new workflow definition. We can then start a new workflow. We can see there is a workflow running which has stopped in state node waiting for an external signal. Now we send the signal and see that the workflow has finished.